back, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm just going to show you how I go about deadheading my petunias. Now it's all planted up. And when's the best time to do it? As you can see, it's almost in flower now. These are, uh, that's the first one that came out. That one's dying back now. That one needs ticking out. That one there, and that one there. Before they start putting any energy into the seed pods. This one's just getting ready to flower. This is a much bigger flower than this one. It takes more energy. So first of all, I'm using these. These are my new pruners that I got online. Really nice. Very good quality, spring loaded. Really, they're not for anything big. They're only for little, little flower stems. So first of all, let's get this camera set up. That perfectly well. Let's try and move it over here a little bit. A little bit more. Yep, that should be all right. I hope. Yep. Yeah, like I said, just. Take them down as far back to the stem as you can. So you end up with like that. This one here. This one here. Yeah, you want to go nice and early. As soon as they're starting turning, like you see with these. As soon as the flowers start turning, give them a snip back. Then they'll put more energy into growing bigger and better flowers. So yeah, all these ones, these are what I've taken off when I pruned these. I just thought I'd stick them in here and see if they root. And some of them actually, actually started rooting now. You can, you can see there, yeah, let's check around. See there, the roots in that corner. So these are what I've known over the years. I'll throw them up there. I thought I'd give them a go, see what they're like. I've got 40 odd flowers there, no petunias. So that's how to prune your petunias, how to dead it, sorry. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Like the videos, please subscribe, folks. Remember, happy sewing, happy growing. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Keep safe, bye.